Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install uh, the Payday 2 menus, uh, which is Pirate Perfection Trainer V8. Uh, I'll actually be making my own custom ones for these. I'm going to have a troll one and then a uh, host perfection. Uh, they're basically going to be something so it's all just kind of like one keybind or like five, and you'll get the ability to either troll or uh, have like the best kind of hack lobby in the world that you ever want like being able to spawn 100, 500 bags off a single keybind click so say you just click one on your number pad 200 bags spawn up that are worth like 3 million a bag each now quick thing though first is that I have to give credit to this guy Pirate Captain he's the creator of this uh, he has a bunch of other people he's used for these codes so all the credit goes to them as well uh, and right here you'll be able to get the download as well it's on unknownsheets.me I'm not going to have this link in the description because I'll have my own uh, downloadable already but all credit goes to this guy regardlessly no matter what this guy was amazing he probably with a lot of help I'd imagine has made one of the greatest mods hacks and exploitations in the freaking game of Payday 2 and probably the best one I've seen in maybe five years or so of gaming. Now, how to install it though? Uh, all you have to do is just go to your search engine in your start menu, type in Steam, go to your Steam app, uh, sorry, Steam file location, just open file location, Steam apps, common, find your Payday 2 folder, drag this, extract it, and you'll end up with these two little files right here and you'll end up with a folder trainer and this holds all of your Lewis scripts all that happy-go-lucky fun Cody crap uh, you can modify in-game action which is really kick-ass uh, so that does work just letting you know so if you uh, decide to mess around with say your job menu key which is number zero over here uh, you'll be able to screw around with that in game just click it again and all of a sudden it'll start working to whatever you coded it to so you can always screw around and change all the uh, stuff to it now with that installed literally that simple there's a quick extraction it'll probably take less than 30 seconds uh, let's start it up payday 2 so you can actually get like a little view of this And if you're wondering, this is the only one that will let you spawn bags. Well, I'm not sure if it's the only one specifically, but this is the only way to spawn bags. You will never, ever, ever, ever be able to spawn bags or do any of the crazy kick-ass stuff that you can uh, actually in this game with those two little files, sorry, three little files that everyone gets, which is always uh, the IPH, DLL, whatever the hell it is, the script, parentheses 2, and script 1. Whoever the hell said those two are multiplayer and single player was a fucking moron for one. Because in reality when this game comes down to it, your single player realistically is your multiplayer. So you can kind of have all of them in one. I don't understand why anyone would ever say that. That has to be one single player, one not. That's just retardation. But regardless, quick three facts. Uh, I have the Deathstalker Ultimate Keyboard the 2014 uh, edition Naga Razor Mouse and uh, I'm running Windows 7 so if you're running Mac I have no idea what the hell to do with Mac so good luck trying to install it the mods uh, or scripts whatever you want to call them we'll just go with mods for lack of a better word and uh, the reason why I say I have the Deathstalker keyboard and the sorry Deathstalker ultimate and the 2014 Naga Mouse is because some of these keys uh, I've been told don't work with some keyboards and some people. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because they're in a foreign country. Maybe it's because they're running with a Mac computer keyboard. Maybe it's because they're running with Logitech. Maybe it's because, you know, whatever it is. Regardless, uh, the reason why I do go with the mouse, though, is because, well, not a lot of mouses have these two buttons, which is the extra mouse one and two buttons. And if you're wondering what bullet time is, it makes you tell. I'm uh, not sorry, not teleport. Whoopsie daisy. That's your extra ac action button two. And that actually sends you to the crosshairs, which I'm really not sure why it says penetration because that would be where the bullet drops. Regardless, the bullet timer is slow mo. Uh, for anyone who has a uh, 
Razer 2014 Naga mouse. It's going to be the buttons under uh, your scroll key. And those will give you your holy hand grenade and penetration teleport. For anyone using a normal mouse, I have no idea what the hell to do for you. I haven't particularly worried about it, so I haven't decided to change any of the scripts and the keybinds, and I'm not going to anytime soon. Uh, I would say you want to bring that up to Pirate Captain for that. Though, just make sure again to know that you have this actually running and working in game. Just click your F1 key on your keyboard. Excuse me. If you end up with the cheat list, it's working. Now, uh, two quick things for people that want to level up. Sorry, that's the skill menu. Actually, let's go back to that. Uh, the skill menu, as you can see, just basically kind of runs down your skill trees. You can go legit. You can cap them all out. You can give yourself however many skill points you want in case maybe you want to kind of go legitly but have more skills than other people. Whatever flows your boat. Then with, if, that's F9 on your keyboard. And if you click F10, you'll end up with a level menu. And as you can see, I can level up. And if you're wondering if you need to restart the game, whoops, a daisy. Normally that should show up automatically. And there it goes. Just need to refresh it. As you can see, I just swapped out to level 255 right off the back, just like that. And I'm going to go back to 100. Do you know that whenever you come back out of a game uh, from 255, say, sorry, uh, you leave Payday 2, like you actually close it all out, you will not be level 255 anymore. Once you come back, you'll be level 100. Uh, I don't know if that was just me, but that was uh, what happened to me, at least. So I'm going to start the game real quick, and let's go with an online game, just so I can show you guys, you know, that it's kind of working online, all that, yada, yada, yada. So let's just go with a quick, easy mission. Let's go with the bank mission on overkill. Uh, tip two about anyone who wants to make money, uh, kind of keep in note that you want to have it on Firestarter. And the reason why you want on Firestarter and not anything else is because if you go to Firestarter and you start spawning up bags, uh, the value will actually change up to three million. So keep that in note if you really, really want money or you just want to host that great hack lobby. Firestarter, overkill, pro mission, and get to the bank part and it's three mil pop. Which is really great, especially if you have keys like me. Uh, my own keyboard is actually edited from the original, so all my keys are going to be different from yours when it comes to the number pad, one to, sorry, zero to nine. I have my own set, so I actually end up with like 200 or so bags on a single click. But things that you do have, click X on your keyboard, and as you can see in front of me, I have everything marked. If you're wondering, no, no one else can see this unless they're running the same menu. And as you can see, though, it does mark absolutely everything. Now we're just going to teleport over here. Put on my mask real quick. Now I'm going to go down the menu. And you don't actually have to have your mask on for this to work or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of show you what it is. F2 is your god mode key. Z on your keyboard is replenish ammo and all that. F3 is your weapons menu. This you'll have to kind of play around with to really get a whole hang of. But I can actually change any weapon I want from my inventory. I click this and apparently I guess I just... Whoop. There we go. I'm not sure if that changed or not because all of my uh, first uh, couple rows of guns are all like the American versions and all that. So let's actually change to a different gun real quick. F3. Lower right. Ah, here we go. As you can see, it just automatically swapped it right out, just like that. Really nice. And yes, you can unlock absolutely everything with this mod, too. Uh, it does not go for anyone else in the game. It just goes for you exclusively. The money does go for everyone, though. So let's click F4 on our keyboard, and it doesn't want to work for me. F4 is your dexterity menu, though. And what it does is allow you to... Uh, have stuff like super jump, instant drill, faster drill, uh, faster interaction, uh, no reloads, swap faster, all that kind of stuff. The really cool crap. F5 is infinite, self-explanatory, it just gives you infinite everything. 
F7 because I didn't click F6. F7 is Ghost Recon. This for me, I'm not entirely sure if it works or not. I haven't really... I've seen it work and not work at the same time. I'm not entirely sure exactly what's meant to do. I haven't looked at the code myself. But to my uh, guess, it's supposed to make it so if you walk in front of a camera, it won't detect you or anything like that along with anyone else in the game. Um, so, oops, sorry. F6, though, is your evil mastermind. I have absolutely no clue what it does. I could click it right now and find out, but thing is, I just... I don't know what I'm going to be looking for, so how am I going to know what's going to happen? You know? Alright, money menu. This is a really cool one. Uh, you can change your loot values, as you can see where it is. If you secure loot, this will go for everyone in the game, too. Off that tree. Skill menu. This works only prime on uh, pre-game and uh, main menu, so keep that in mind. Skill and menu is 9 and 10 on the F keys. 11 is supposed to do something, but I can't remember, and it's not working for me, so I don't know what to do with that. Let's click on zero. Job menu. Job menu lets you see, and this works also pre-game, and we'll show you all the jobs uh, in the game available to you, and you can get them all free. You can get them overkill, even if you don't have it unlocked. You can do all the jobs in the entire game. You can even start on the escape missions, which is really kick-ass, too. So instead of like having to get lucky with an escape mission... You can get them directive like that. And yes, you can unlock all the Steam achievements too, so you don't really have to get them legitly, but if you want to, or maybe you want to help your friend out do it, well, you know, there's the option. Just take to note though, if you do use anything in the job menu, that it will kick everyone from your game if you're doing it pre-game. Pre-game, it'll kick everyone. Though if you're not doing it pre-game, it's not going to kick anyone. At least I don't think it will if you use the um, escape mission selector. Um, <clears throat> as you can see though, it just went over to all the jobs that are available in the game. So let's click one on the keyboard, and you end up with the audio module. I have yet to see this work actually in-game, it usually crashes me if I use it uh, while in-game, so I always use it pre-game and then it starts working. It can just give you a ton of uh, random things though, from the epic rack battle stuff, which I don't know why it just killed on me with that. Uh, <clears throat> Or it'll give you ability to give like out random headshot effects that just sound somewhat like killing floor headshot effects to me. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, the three key, I don't remember exactly what this does. And oh, this is all your number pad too, so keep that in mind. Uh, three, I can't really remember what this does for you. I think it's the ECM jammer. And that'll just, well, give you an ECM jammer. But for me, it goes with spawning up 200 bags in a lovable perfect circle and uh, <clears throat> I think I should probably mention sorry my cat's kind of bugging me getting on my tree come here cat there you go I'll sit there good cat so let's just grab up this little money bag of happy-go-lucky fun time and go down and grab the drill Now these bags and fire start are going to be around 3 mil a pop. Uh, 4 is your troll menu on your number pad. You'll really want to use this a lot. It's a really great thing to have. Prevent uh, prevent pause from player drop-in. We'll stop the uh, pause screen, which is great. It doesn't really stop it like pausing it. It just stops from ever showing. So they'll just automatically spawn up on top of you and you don't really know about it. Kind of inconvenient, but also still really great that you don't have to worry about that stupid fucking pause every single time. Open all bank deposits. If you just heard that little click, that was all the bank deposits actually opening, and that's uh should be right here. Ah, whoops a daisy. As you can see they're all open. I haven't even been in here yet. So do know if you take the thermal drill in there, sometimes it'll glitch out to where you won't be able to get uh the thermal drill to actually work on the uh Vault, so kind of keep that in mind. And there was one key I'm trying to think of right now. F11, that's your spawn key. That's what that is. Your spawn menu is your F11 key, and sadly I can't show you because I don't know why it's not working. Uh, I'll have to look into the code for that for me. That's all me though, so just letting you know. It's going to work for you, but it won't work for me. I don't know why. 
Regardless, see, that will be the key that will let you spawn up bags of, like, paintings, uh, thermal drills, money, gold, weapons, uh, engines. And do note, when you click on the engine, it will not give you the right one. So keep that in mind. I know that sucks ass, but really simple to do. Just find the notebook, and uh, the notebook is, has graphing paper on it. It'll say, like, helium, detrium, or hydrogen. That's the engine you're looking for. Find the color, find the clipboard, and then you'll know th uh, how many cables you need to look for. It'll say like H or 2H or 3H, and that'll tell you the cables by the number. If there's no number, then it's just one. So keep that in mind. Uh, five on your number pad, do not ever click this. This is a Bouncing Betty click. Bouncing Betty basically spawns all these bags and makes everything fucking explosive, and it's, it's a hardcore troll key. A uh, quick couple things that are really cool about this menu is Dirty Money Drop. Basically means that you kill a bulldozer, a cop, SWAT, whatever it is, they'll drop a bag of money, usually one to two, commonly always two, and uh, they'll always be worth whatever the current game is giving you out for that money. One cop died to spawn self-explanatory, one cop dies to spawn. Really great with Dirty Money. And it does work with dirty money as well. Take mask off again, self-explanatory. Free civilian killing, self-explanatory as well. Uh, let's actually take off my mask right now because I'm afraid I'm going to get spotted by the civvy over here. So let's click four again and get out the troll menu. Most of the players down these are the ones that uh, really catch a lot of people's eyes. Release all team from jail. This, to my knowledge, doesn't work, even with the trainer version. I'm actually trying to fix this myself. I might be able to. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really gotten around to doing it because I've been trying to make a uh, perfected troll and uh, hack lobby hoster menu. That fucking cat's on the goddamn tree again. I'm going to kill him. Even though I love my poor cat. He's retarded. I don't know if he really is or not, but... He's fucking stupid enough to keep eating plastic and throwing it up. Regardlessly, uh, the two things that always catch people's eyes are Santa Flyby, Golden Team, and then, well, that's extra worry, so let's go three. So the new pro and elite team. Would, now, people would say these actually level people up. They really don't. It's basically a cheat engine. It'll show you a flashy little level that you love, and then once you come out of the game and you're back in the lobby, it's gone. Santa Flyby and Gold Bag... Uh, a golden team bag will basically just spawn up bags into the air. And as you can see, five bags just flew up into the happy go lucky air. They'll spawn on all four players, and you'll get five bags of pop for uh, each person. Really great. If I were you, I'd just get three people into the van, just sit them down, and just spam that. Uh, that's about all I can give you right now that I can actually think of. I'm just going to finish off this mission really quickly. Crack on a few keys. Put my mask back on. Probably shouldn't because it's going to crash me and I didn't. Yay! So let's go slow mo. Because I don't like civilians. And as you can see, the keys I just click, uh, clicked on, which is 7 and 8, on, seven, eight nine, on my keyboard, on the number pad. You won't have these at all. These will be uh, other things for you. Like I think it's 7, 8, and 9 are instant lose, turn secure, which basically lets you secure the top valued item in the game, which is a turret uh, part. And I think it gives you like 200 or so automatically. Kind of convenient for some people, but for me it's not. And uh, then 7, I think, is, I want to say, a flashbang. Now, the keys, though, that are numbered over your actual uh, keyboard, uh, you'll end up with 1 being ammo kit, 2 med, 3 doesn't do anything for me, 4 mines, 5 doesn't do anything again, and 6... I don't know why it's not doing anything, but it should be sentries. 
I think it's probably because I've been trying to make it in so it's a god mode sentry every single time I spawn them. So, looks like I have to some, do some scripting and actual work further on that. As you can see, though, I've kind of just broken into this place without any trouble at all because of the Black Ops script and everything else that I have on. So, these all do work. It's interaction with everything, too. Let's go out and grab that drill. Get this thing done. If I can get the hell out of here. And for anyone wondering what happens if you fall into the map, I'll actually show you right now. You're not going to die or anything. You'll just end up falling completely through. And let's just go out slow mode to stop that. As you can see, it just spawns right back in the game. Usually it'll spawn you on whoever the hell the red player currently is. So keep that in mind. Another great thing, too, if you want to troll people, uh, if you're actually the host of the game, whoops a daisy, kind of went out of nowhere. A little bit hard to get to. Aim for the windowsill right there. Teleport in. Whoops, and I failed. And you'll end up in a place where you just can't get out of, so. With that note, everyone have a good day.